there is an earthquake, often the epicenter and hypocenter are used as the location of the earthquake. But what does this mean and what is the difference? Earthquakes occur regularly when two plates move towards each other. The place in the crust where the rock first moves is called the hypocenter. Another word is the focus of an earthquake. In general, for a subduction zone, the farther the earthquake is from the plate boundary, the deeper the contact between the overlaying and subducting plates, and the deeper the hypocenter. The hypocenter can be up to 700 km deep at subduction zones. In divergent and transform zones, the hypocenter of earthquakes is generally a maximum of a few tens of kilometers deep. In general, a deep earthquake often causes less damage to the surface compared to an earthquake of the same magnitude just below the Earth's surface. The epicenter is the point above the hypocenter on the Earth's surface. This is often used to indicate on a map where the earthquake occurred. In short, the hypocenter is the place in the crust where the earthquake starts and the epicenter is the place on the Earth's surface, exactly above the hypocenter.